And I'll take you to the Ashanti region where students of the Kumasi Technical University are protesting management's call for program deferment following their failure to register courses for the current semester. While these students have already missed writing some papers in the ongoing end of semester exams. According to the university, over 11,000 students who registered for the second semester are writing the examinations which ends this week. However, a total of 648 of them who could not register are to defer their programs. Emmanuel Bryce Kweko was at the university campus in our report. It's the fifth day of picketing by some students of the Kumasi Technical University to have management of the university rescind their decision of not allowing them to sit for the ongoing end of semester examinations. The students were asked to defer their courses following their inability to register their courses. While some of the affected students failed to raise their fees, others claimed they had challenges logging onto the registration portal. After paying the fees, they said we should go and pay the penalty, which was 100 Ghana cities. We went and paid the penalty, and then they said uh, we should go to the IT and register. We went to the IT, they said they've closed registration, we can't register again. So we came to the register, and he was telling us uh, there's nothing they can do about it. So we pleaded, and they said, okay, they are going to have a meeting. If they have the meeting, whatever be the case Friday, they will communicate to us. On Friday, they came and they told us that they can't do anything about it. We should defer all our courses. But I mean, for instance, if they say I should defer my course, then they are indirectly sacking me from this book. Was I can, I'm the one catching up for myself everything. My phone is here. I can show it to you. Sir. Weekends, I have to store what I can come and feed on myself on campus. We are we're in pain right now. Some of us are in our final year, and some have already deferred their course. Sit in the house for one year and came back. This is their final year for them to complete. Here's the case that they are to defend and, and stay in the house and come back again. It's very painful. Not like we are attacking them. We are pleading that you should give us the chance. Most of us, we paid our fees on time. Me, I have a lot of, my, my uh, receipts are there. My receipts are there. I pay them on time. So the challenge is about the network. So you are blaming it on the technical issue? Exactly. It's a technical issue that the uh, university authorities should take into consideration. You can't just say that somebody did not register without even probing it further. The students were originally due to complete their online course registration in May, but after several pleas, the university management agreed to extend the date. The decision consequently saw four registration deadline extensions. Joshua Apia is acting university relations officer. The university was so compassionate, even left the registration open to the 7th of August. So after the 7th of August, they closed the portal that all non-registered students could not write the exams. Now, per the student handbook, they are supposed to withdraw from the system. But the academic board decided that now the economy is hard. So instead of them losing their money, let them defer, then come and continue with their money intact the next academic year. Meanwhile, some students are contemplating abandoning school. Well, maybe I will either stop the school and then focus on something else. We, we, we have to look for some big officials in this country for them to plead on our behalf. But I think that if the management is not ready to listen to the student, they are not being fair to us. So for the affected students of the Kumasi Technical University, they are only pleading with the university management to consider them to sit for this particular examination. From here in Kumasi, my name is Emmanuel Bradquick.